My name is Jackson Hauser, and I'll be covering boys basketball. They played last Thursday against Luther, beating them 77-69, to with leading scorer Kyle Haley scoring 26 points. They played again against Milwaukee Academy of Science. The final score was 74-81. to They lost, sadly. Our leading scorer was Tamarian Henderson. He scored 33 points while making seven three-pointers. The boys will play again Friday for the first playoff game at home. Make sure to show up and support them. Beat girls basketball won against Logan on Friday with a score of 72 to 37. From that win, they advanced and played Reedsburg that Saturday, also winning that game with a score of 67-34. This week, the girls will play on Alaska at Central High School on Thursday. Over the weekend on Saturday, Brett Pulmonol, Cody Peterson, wrestled all today along with Emily Anderson to close out the 2023-2024 wrestling season. To recap the season, we had conference champions from Gavin Locking, Basin Chambers, Brett Pulmonol, Cody Peterson, Isaiah Murphy, and Miles Olson. The Catbirds had an amazing season and can't wait for next year with high hopes and high expectations. The trap team, also known as the Clay Target League, competes for two seasons, fall and spring, with the spring season capping off with a state meet and a shot at the Nationals competition. Trap consists of a team of five to shoot one round. Each person will alternate shooting at a clay disc that is launched from the thrower. After every participant has taken five shots each, they will rotate to the next thrower and take another five shots. Each group will keep repeating the cycle until they have shot or seen at least seen 25 clays. 25 clays are considered a round. Each participant will compete for two rounds. With the use of a firearm, safety is a top priority. You will need to go through a hunter safety program to be able to join the team and participate. With all the teams in the state of Wisconsin and in the nationals, there have been zero safety incidents since the league's conception in 2008. Participants will need to purchase 18 boxes of ammunition plus any extra for practice, a shot pouch to hold your ammunition, and of course a 12 or 20 gauge firearm. If you are interested, registration deadline is Sunday, March 17th. For more information, please talk to Mr. Matheson. The gymnastics co-op team took first at sectionals last week, which earned them a trip to Team State. Four West Salem girls made state individually as well. Those girls include Morgan Seeker for the vault, floor, bars, beam, and all around, Kennedy Garbage for the floor and all around, Haley Ives for the beam, and Olivia Mackey for the beam as well. Team State is held Friday, March 1st at 12 p.m. Individual State is Saturday, March 2nd at 10 a.m. in Wisconsin Rapids. Here's some more information about summer musical and show choir auditions. The Mamma Mia auditions will be held Monday, March 4th and Tuesday, March 5th at 3.30 to 5 p.m. or Wednesday, March 6th at 7 a.m. If you're looking for a larger role, it is highly encouraged to prepare 16 to 32 bars of a pop song or contemporary musical theater piece. The song you choose does not have to be ABBA or Mamma Mia. Auditions for the 2024-25 show choir will be Monday, March 11th at 3.30 to 5 p.m. and 6 to 7 p.m., as well as Tuesday, March 12th at 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Auditions will include singing the national anthem for Miss Hansen and Miss Martin, as well as a short choreography section. If neither of these audition dates work out for you, reach out to Miss Hansen. The play Monsters in My Closet will be playing tonight. Thursday, February 29th, and tomorrow, Friday, March 1st, at 7 p.m. at the Hyder Center. Tickets are $5 at the door. Band and choir students that are going to New York this spring should know that there is an informational meeting for parents on Monday, March 11th, at 11 p.m. in the Hyder Center. Students are welcome to attend as well. This past Friday, 23 seniors traveled to Western Technical College to participate in the Financial Literacy Quiz Bowl. They had six teams, each with four members. After participating in a preliminary round to determine seating, 
West Salem 4 was seeded second, with West Salem teams 1, 5, and 6 taking 7th, 8th, and 9th, WS 3 and 11th, and WS 2 and 13th. West Salem brought 6 of the 15 total teams, competing against teams from Aquinas, Toma, Royal, GET, and Viroqua in a tournament bracket. Losers would have another chance in the consolation bracket. Alright, so we're here at Western Central College with our currently winning uh, finance team. How do you guys feel about our performance? I think we did really good. Um, that was a hard circumstance to be in where we had to split up our team, but um, we pulled out and did well, so. Do you think we'll continue this victory? Let's hope. It seemed like we were definitely confident, and so I hope I hope that continues. But. Cool. Has this been a great experience so far? Yeah, it's been like pretty interesting, especially since we're um, able to apply the knowledge that we've learned in our senior finance class for the most part. Um, and should seniors next year do this? Definitely. 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 Definitely fun. You get out of school, you get a lunch, a breakfast, it's great. Nothing, no, no bad. Everyone got to enjoy pizzas made by the culinary students. West Salem 3 with Ben Bacham, Desmond Weirs, Hunter Bachko, and Keegan Novak quickly proved to have skill as they beat Viroqua, Aquinas, and Royal to secure their spot in the finals. What happened? It was 120-120, it was oh my god. And you got the last question. It was the last question. West Salem 2 with Nick Jones, Nick Seafelt, Carson McGuire and Josh Homan faced an initial loss but proved themselves by securing a final spot in the consolation bracket. West Salem 3 lost in the finals round but walked away with a $100 team prize. West Salem 2 lost the consolation match. This year was the best performance from West Salem in the history of the Finance Quiz Bowl. Congratulations to our seniors. Hi there, the DECA team just got back yesterday from competing at the state conference in Lake Geneva and we had some very, very successful students. Uh, the trip was fantastic. So leading the way was Kate Fechner and Emily Fechner who took fifth place in the state with the Entrepreneurship Business Growth Plan. Uh, they presented their own business that they own um, and they have qualified for a trip to the International Career Development Conference in Anaheim. Uh, we also had Taylor Birch, who got a top 10 in food marketing. Uh, Emily Fell, Kayla Olson, and Elliot Showquist, Showquist also did a project uh, that was in the top six in state. They qualified for the international conference as well. Uh, Haley Chandler was a top 10 in professional selling, um, so she had a terrific conference. Uh, Noah Stewart was one of the best test takers in the state. He was a medalist twice uh, for test taking. And Elise B. and Kayla Olson also have qualified for the International Conference with their paper they wrote on our own Panther Plaza. So great job to those two. And Philip Gabrielson, in his first year in DECA, finished third in professional selling out of 44 students um, and qualified for the International Conference. Uh, really, really competitive event. He did a great job. And the students did a wonderful job. And can't wait to see him at Internationals. Hey DECA members and NHS members, there is still time for you to join on this Saturday's Polar Plunge. There should have been an email sent to you guys with a link that you could sign up. You could also use this QR code. So open to any DECA member, NHS member who wants to be able to participate, donate some money to Special Olympics, and jump in the water. It's a great year to do it.